Hello, I'm Javis Lewis, and today I'm going to show you how to use Zendash. That is a WordPress plugin I have written, and it allows you to hide elements from your administrative interface. Today I'd like to introduce you to Zendash. This is a plugin I've written, and it allows you to hide menu items and update notifications and dashboard widgets from your WordPress admin interface. I've just updated it to version 1.2, which takes full advantage of WordPress 3.8 and 3.9's functions, and they've renamed some of the dashboard widgets, so this is all incorporated. And I thought it's a great idea to show you what the plugin can do and how to use it. So as I said, it's for the admin interface. I'm going in the back end here and if you install the plugin, you do that under plugins, add new, and it's currently hosted on the WordPress repository, so it's easy enough to just use the big search field here and type in Zen Dash, and then you search, and up comes Zen Dash. I already have it installed. You'd have an install button here that you just click, and then you just activate the plugin, and it comes up under dashboard, Zen Dash. Easy enough. And if you navigate there, I'm explaining quickly how this works. You've got four sections here. Well, five, really. This is the How Works section, comes up by default. And then you've got these four sections here, which correspond to certain areas of the admin interface. The first one is Dashboard Widgets. If you go there, all four are enabled. In previous versions, those were as many as eight. But as of WordPress 3.7, the team have cleaned up the dashboard a lot, so there's only four that you can now disable. And these are the titles. And to show you the effect, I'll go and head over to Dashboard Home. Those are the four widgets that are enabled by default. There may be others depending on the plugins and themes you have installed. And commonly, you go over here to Screen Options and you can disable them all. So untick them and then they're gone. So uh, quick draft, for example, untick it and it's gone. Tick it and it's back. But sometimes you don't want clients to see any of these things and you want them to completely disappear and make sure clients can't really bring them back. Uh, because in my experience, clients can often get overwhelmed by the sheer amount of information that is, that is there in the WordPress admin interface. So here we have at a glance, activity, quick draft and WordPress news. And if you want to hide any of them, you head over to Zendash, Dashboard Widgets, and any of the ones you don't want to see, for example, WordPress News, or perhaps Activity, you can switch off, click Save Changes, and then head over again to your dashboard, and they're all gone. And you've got a bit of Zen magic here. Let's see what else we can do. Those were the dashboard widgets. Let's go to the menu items. Those are a lot. And the menu items are all these top menus. So posts, media pages, comments, appearance, plugins, including dashboard, that is also a menu item. And if you want to get rid of any of these, for example, appearance, that's always my favorite. If you don't really want the client to change any of his appearance settings, so you just switch that off or plugins, you maybe you don't want your clients to accidentally switch off a plugin like their shopping cart plugin and then their website breaks and you get a support call. It's always good to just switch that off. Same with users, we'll just switch these three off, maybe and tools, there, four of them. All switched off, save changes. And notice that nothing actually happens here in the left-hand side. That's because you need to refresh your page. And Zendash will tell you this at the top here, refresh this page. You can either just conveniently click this link or just refresh your web browser with a little reload the current page option. I'm just going to click this here, refresh this page, and then the entire page loads and all those options are gone. Very exciting, huh? Same as settings. If, you, if you'd say, I'd rather want my clients not to fiddle in the settings, you switch them off. Or pages, once set up, maybe they don't need access to them. So posts, media, and dashboard is perhaps all they need. Click changes, refresh the page, and things just get much more clean and zen-like here in your admin interface. Now, if you're asking, well, but can't we just give our clients a lower user role than the administrator? 
that would reduce the options in the in the menu. I'm thinking, yeah, you can, but sometimes they still need admin functionality for certain aspects of their website. For example, plugins that install themselves, the shopping cart plugins, they will they may want admin capabilities and this way you can leave your user or your client as an admin and still remove certain options that you don't want them to play with. You can of course bring them all back and if you uninstall the plugin and remove it from your website then all these options will be deleted and everything comes back. So I'm going to bring all the menu options back. There we go. Perfect. Next up, update notifications. These are good to hide if you would like to be in charge of updates. It's a good idea for standalone power users to do the updates, but if you look after a site on behalf of a client, then you may not want the client to see update notifications. And Zendash makes that really easy to hide them in a very granular fashion. So you can hide the WordPress core update notifications, notifications for theme updates and notifications for plugin updates all separately. Let me show you how that works. So under dashboard updates I currently have two components that could do with an update. One of them is a plugin, Jetpack, has a new version out and another one is a theme, P2 theme. If I'd like to hide just the plugin update notifications I head over back to Zendash, update notifications and on the bottom here, plugin update alerts, switch it off. Save the changes. And notice again, we still have a little number two here. That's because we need to refresh the page. And out of a sudden, we only have a number one. Cool. We can still go into updates, but I'll get the message my plugins are all up to date. Is that cool or what? Let's do the same for themes. So hide this theme notification and maybe bring the plugin notification back just to prove a point. Head over to Zendash update notifications, theme update alerts, switch them off, plugin update alerts, switch them on. Hit save, head over back to dashboard updates, which will refresh the page for you by the way. And now we have the plugin notification back, but the theme update notification tells me everything is up to date. So the last option I want to show you are the footer links. Footers in the admin footer, that's this little section here. Thank you for creating with WordPress. Change Zendash options, that's something that I've added. And the WordPress version number. And you can turn all these three options off independently from each other. So the WordPress attribution, let's do that, switch it off. Save changes. And you no longer have the thank you for creating with WordPress option here. Likewise, the Zendash options link, if you really don't want to get there, I'll show you why I've actually done that. And that's also gone. And same with the WordPress version here. I suppose you get the picture, switch it off, save changes. And now you've got nothing. All Zen, all very good. And obviously that's not just on, on this page here, it's on, it's on every page. So I'll go to the post page, there's nothing here anymore. Go to the tools page. There's nothing there at the bottom. So it really cleans things out. Speaking of that footer link, why did I put that there? Well, there is a possibility that you may want, and I'll just switch them all on again. There is a possibility that under the menu items, you can switch off the dashboard altogether. And some users may really go over the top and they may switch a lot of stuff off and think, well, that's great. I, I only really want the user I only want my clients to be able to post things but nothing else. You can do that, refresh the page, but if you do then because the dashboard is now missing you would no longer be able to access the Zendash options. So if you now, if you're an admin and you wanted to bring this back and you've moved away from the Zendash page and all you have is posts then there would be no way for you to get back into settings even into plugins and just delete my plugin. And that's why I've added this little option here. So if you wanted to hide a lot, at least you have a little shortcut here that will bring you back into Zendash and say, wow, I do need to do something in settings. And now you can at least switch settings back on. That's the thinking behind it. But of course, it's absolutely up to you what you do. You could go ahead and uh, switch off the dashboard as I have done here and maybe even switch off the settings 
and also go ahead in footer links and also switch off the Zen Dash options and perhaps switch off everything. Do that, refresh your page, and now there's no way for you to access Zen Dash anymore from either option. So the moment you navigate away from this, you may think, oh dear, what have I done? Will I ever be able to do anything else or have I completely broken my backend? And rest assured, of course, that's not the case. All my plugin does really is it hides these options. So if you knew the direct link to this, you can still get there, like for example with the footer link. So I have on the WordPress repository under the frequently asked questions here, I have posted a couple of ways uh, how to bring that back, well, one way to bring that back. Uh, the last option here, help, I've disabled both the dashboard menu and the Zen Dash footer link. Now what? Well. As it says here, you the direct link to this is index.php question mark page equals Zen dash. So let's just quickly copy this and go back here. If you're faced with this and you think, oh dear, I really need to bring something back uh, or disable Zen dash or disable a plugin or whatever, as long as you're in the back end, that's cool. You head over here on your on your website. So go go and visit the website, which brings you to the front page hover over that link again, which then will get you into the dashboard. That's good, so at least you're in the dashboard and this is where you need to be. Notice this URL here at the top. This will be yourdomain.com, uh, perhaps a subdirectory that you have, and then it'll follow wp-admin. In here, at the back of that, just paste what I've just said. So index.php question mark page equals Zendash. And if you do that and hit return, then you get back to Zendash options and you can bring everything back. For example, the dashboard menu item or the footer link. And now you're back in business. Okay, I hope this was useful. If you have any questions or comments and you can leave a comment on uh, this video or on the release post for Zendash. If you have any suggestions or if you want to contribute, please contact me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new updates and more funky, exciting plugins. See you next time.